Hey there, Justin Brennan here, luxury real estate broker. Let's talk about luxury marketing for homes in Southern California and really the difference between that and what you'd see on a traditional sale home. So let's go. So one of the main differences when you're marketing a luxury home, and for Southern California, I'd kind of put that in the two and a half million dollar plus range. And the biggest difference is you're selling lifestyle, not structure, right? People buy lifestyle, they don't buy the structure. They're definitely more discerning in that luxury category, and they're looking at all the details because it obviously is more money, it's just the way that it is. And that buyer is, you know, has more options to consider. So you gotta really bring them in and sell them the lifestyle, the experience, what they can expect, all of that. And it's less about just the structure of four bedrooms, three baths, right? On a 10,000 square foot lot and X, Y, Z. It is really about the experience. So that's the main thing and the difference in the marketing. And then how you present that out both in a digital print as well as a networking aspect when you're marketing that property, both locally, nationally, and globally. Another thing to consider in the luxury marketing space is the buyer pool. I mean, makes sense as you go up in price, of course, the buyer pool is gonna squeeze and you're trying to really find that needle in a haystack. And while a lot of certain people still keep posting on the print side of things, you know, and sellers tend to think that, oh, that's, you know, you see your home in a Premier Magazine or a Dream Homes book or whatever it else may be. It's a coffee table book. It makes you feel good because you see your home in it, but it doesn't sell the home. It just, it really doesn't. It's a nice, you know, mental piece for you, but realistically, everybody has a smartphone. Everybody's coming through digital funnels. You need realtors and luxury marketing experts to know how to really go out there, right? And catch that wide net and really bring those people through those digital funnels, both through YouTube, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, their digital ad advertising on the email side of things and so forth, and really help tell the story of the home and tell that lifestyle experience through videos, right? Both you have the um, lifestyle type videos that are full, full uh, productions and everything gets put together with actors and all of that. There's that type of video. And then you have the behind the scenes type videos, which quite honestly, those raw behind the scenes videos are the ones that get the most views because people are watching it and it's giving them a true experience of that property in real time in more of a raw experience versus this big production. And we use YouTube, we're using targeting pixel ads, targeted technologies where we're going out and we're really trying to find interest, people, things that are looking for, travel, luxury, yachts, cars, all the things surrounding the property that give the lifestyle and tell that lifestyle because that's the biggest difference between marketing a traditional home and then going out into the luxury market space. Another thing to consider is the time frame because realistically it may take longer to sell that luxury home if it's a two and a half, three and a half, five and a half, ten and a half million dollar home, the higher the price, the longer it may take because that buyer pool is much smaller. So the marketing budgets, I mean, they go into the thousands and thousands of dollars and that's typically always put up by the realtor. It's a huge risk. Right, but at the same time, there's a huge reward that gets offset through the professional fees and the amount of work and time and effort, everything that goes into it, it's big time. And you're networking the home typically as well through parties and events, bringing people, attracting different types of people that either know people or they have their own money, the ability to write the checks to buy the home. So I hope this helps explain really the luxury marketing side of things in comparison to what you would see on a traditional sale in Southern California. If you have any other questions, click some of the links here in, it's gonna take you and give you some more details, you know, point marketing plans, all the different things that can go into it. If you have any other questions, love to be a resource for you if you're looking to do anything here in Southern California and San Diego. So take care, talk to you soon.